Thronebreaker is something that's somewhat difficult to describe because it's an RPG with a beautiful hand-drawn art style, uh, lots of resources to gather and collect and manage, but the combat system plays out mostly through cards, which is the Gwent game that was in The Witcher 3. Now it's edited quite a bit in this version, but uh, it's still essentially Gwent. Now, over the course of the game, you get a little camp, you can upgrade it to uh, do stuff like be able to outfit your deck with better things, there's a couple of different trees to upgrade, you can recruit people and talk to them in the mess tent. I'm going to hop into an AI opponent game just to show you how the actual combat system tends to work, but because of the fact that it's based around a card game, like there are also a large number of puzzle battles as well. So you can uh, experience a, a variety of game styles in addition to being able to play this on its own. So we're up against the uh, enemy Maeve. Practice is probably going to be harder than anything in the base game just because of the fact that, you know, like they're actually using my deck against me, so. I smell a leak. So yeah, you've got two rows, you put cards down, you take turns, you can deploy things, you can... Uh... Did they just mark their own unit to damage them every turn? They did. Good job, yeah. Um, You know, you can play cards every turn, they've got a variety of different effects, like these guys move enemy units and damage them, these guys let you play cards from the top of your deck. It's a card game, okay? You know, it's... There's a lot of different cards and a lot of different things that they do. And over the course of the game, you can upgrade your deck. And I don't think the game expected me to forfeit there because it's broken slightly. The game is occasionally a bit buggy. Nothing to this extent before, but, you know, there's always something new, I suppose. Um, the writing and the story are both top-notch because it's written by the guys who did The Witcher 3. And uh, I thoroughly enjoyed everything about this game, except for the final boss fight but that's just because it was designed to counter the deck I've been using. Wow, this is an impressive crash here. Um, so yeah, apart from the fact that me doing this review caused the game to break, I'd still recommend buying it for full price. Like, it took me about uh, 28 hours to finish the campaign. There's a good amount of reason to replay it, what we've seen diff different options of uh, choices you make along the way, different people you can recruit or try to keep with you, and... Uh, very storyline beats that can change how the game ends quite significantly. But yeah, I definitely recommend it if you like either you know good writing in RPGs or card games. Though ideally if you like both you're going to have a better time. Uh, I better wrap this review up and then probably close application is going to be the only way to get out of this. I never had anything like this happen to me the entire time I played the campaign and the second I go to make a review, suddenly it all starts crashing.